So this is my uh, second video for today, my second process video. And this is also a layout for the Vicky Booten Mixed Media Makers. And this is uh, inspired by the watercolor stripes from my previous junk journal page. And I started this layout with punching, no, not punching, but using uh, my dynamic, dynamic dies for um, this butterflies. And I used some different papers. I have white cardstock, I have craft paper, vellum, and also some laser cut papers from Heidi Swap. And uh, all I'm doing right now is stapling together um, three to four layers of the butterflies. And then I will grab some cotton thread to, um, to uh, <laughs> get it around uh, the middle part from the butterfly. So they are um, yeah, secured and together. And I love the look of the thread. It's, um, I will also let um, the ends just flowing over the layout. And here you can see I'm just, I love it. It's looking um, just awesome, yeah. And I have primed my paper with um, the matte acrylic gel just because I wanted to use a lot of water and I'm also working on the foundation paper. I'm using the same colors and um, just not all of them. I'm just using um, some greens and some blues and I absolutely love how that is turning out. It's um, very soft and very not yet, it's still wet, but when I am done, um, I just love the colors. And um, yeah, I'm just mixing some more colors um, because I wanted to have um, some more um, shades of green and blue. And I'm just going uh, over the stripes again, adding more colors. And I will also dab some of them up uh, off with um, a paper towel. And uh, once that layer is dry, I will add a lot of splatters for sure. Uh, yeah, just going in and mixing the tones uh, together. And I think I'm nearly, nearly done with the stripes. And yeah, just going in, dabbing some of the water off and the color. And I am scrapping um, a picture from my little one when he was um, six months old, I think. And um, I turned it into black and white because um, he was wearing a very bright red shirt and that was totally not um, <laughs> my idea of colors on that page. And so I turned it black and white. <clears throat> I'm just working on the details on the background, some splatters, and I'm working with a smaller brush and yeah, just adding some movement, some messiness to that background. Um, then I decided to, uh, I will, no, I decided to have a look into the um, pattern papers from the All the Good Things collection and I found some cute, uh, not, I found some matching papers and I'm punching out some hearts out of it because I wanted to have um, more in the background but not dominant, you know? It's just I wanted to kind of blend in with the, in the watercolor stripes. And here I'm just looking what kind of design I wanted, on which side I wanted to have um, the butterflies and the picture because um, the little one is looking from the left side or into the left side. I don't know. It was just, I was not pretty sure about it, but um, that is it. And yeah, that's how I wanted to have it. And uh, that is the next day I um, looked for matching papers and I also used my Happy Jig tool from uh, We Are Memory Keepers to get the word cute. And I decided to go with the light blue wire here. And um, I totally um, love that little shiny detail. Um, I think I will, yeah, I will directly um, glue the butterflies down because I really love how they are looking right now. And I don't want it to, um, yeah, to mess that up. I don't want it to lose that uh, direction of the butterflies and the placement and so. 
um, yeah I'm going with that I'm directly gluing them down and I will pop off uh, pop up the hearts because I wanted to have some shadow and some dimension and so I'm going with pop dots here or foam squares yeah um, I also have added um, two more craft butterflies to the plain white ones because I really like how the craft is looking uh, next to the colors and mixed with the white and so I um, I just decided to add some more craft to the plain white ones. Um, yeah, popping up the hearts and gluing down the butterflies. And um, I don't, um, I will not much uh, many other stuff to this layout because it's, um, it's not busy enough, but it's totally, the amount of elements is totally enough. I, I am totally happy and I love how that is looking. But I will do add some um, animal dots and some puffy hearts from my stash. And yeah, here I was thinking about the perfect way um, to get the word on the um, paper. And so I decided to use some embroidery floss in the same color. And I will just stitch that one down and um, I love the little um, detail and um, yeah it's just I love to stitch on my pages. Um, yeah I will stitch that one down. <coughs> I'm sorry and I think yeah, next to that I will just work on um, the other bits and pieces but uh, I will not use any other words or title. I think um, the word cute is it's enough. It's uh, saying all about the picture. Just some stitches here and yeah I love I love that. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, time is running when I'm looking at the picture. And now when I see my little one who is turning nine this year and um, starts the third grade in summer, it's just, um, nope, that's uh, way too fast. But um, yeah, he's still my little, my little one. Um, I think I will, yeah, everything is stitched down. And now I will um, I will also use some foam squares to pop up my pictures just a tiny bit and um, I will not use any pattern papers behind it because I already have pattern paper on my layout and I will add that heart to the picture and so that is totally um, enough yeah gluing the last butterfly down and I think that's it. No, no, it's not. I will just, I will add um, some more bits and pieces here. And I also used some leftovers uh, from the um, cover from the plastic shapes. And I um, love how that is looking. It's giving another texture and another look. And yeah, I just love it. And these are some um, kind of puffy epoxy stickers I don't know and I'm going for um, color on color because it's um, the theme from the page right and now I will bring in some animal dots and oh yeah and I will also bring in some white acrylic splatters because I love them <laughs> So enough animal dots and I will also remove one of the hearts, the one that is running out of the color stripes. It was a bit, um, yeah, it was not the perfect spot. It was too much. Yeah. Now the page is done. I am just adding some um, white acrylic splatters, white acrylic paint splatters. 
and I am really happy about that page. I love to use um, layered butterflies. I have done a few pages with them and no, not butterflies. I love to layer my embellishments the same shape a few times. It's just fun and awesome. And um, yeah, going crazy with white acrylic paint splatters and uh, you will get a close up and some final pictures at the end and I am done. And I am happy about it. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and bye.